Now we're getting into the real meat and potatoes of the control room, and that is using Studio Sends to send customized mixes to tracking performers individually. And in order to do that, first we need to go to the Cubase mixer and then show the Studio Sends, which is at this star button right here. Now we're showing all the Studio Sends, and each one of these Sends, number one, two, three, and four, corresponds to the studios that we can create in the control room mixer, up to four of them. We've only created Studio One, so the Studio Sends for Studio One, the ones on the top row here, will be the only ones effective for this demonstration. And you can see the rest of them are, are inactive. I can't turn them on or off. All I can turn on is number one. So let's say we've got a piano player in Studio One with his earphones on. And the first thing, of course, we want to send to him is his piano. And so in order to do that, we need to turn on the Studio One Send for the piano channel, which we do right here. And then we need to set a level for it, which we do just like that. And now he will hear only the piano sound, because right now the Studio One channel is set to input from the Studio Sends, the auxiliary Sends. And in order for us to hear what he hears, I'll make sure that we're set to receive signal from just the Studio One and not the main mix. So when I play the project, you'll hear that, that the piano player is only hearing the piano. So if I want to add drums to that, for example, I'd go to the drum group channel here, I'd turn on my Studio One send, and I'd raise the level for the drums at whatever level I want to. I can also set pan settings for that. Unlike regular sends, the Studio Sends also have pan settings. So, in this way, I can create a very customized mix for each performer, uh, or at least this performer in Studio One, and still be able to listen to the main mix as the control room engineer by just switching to the main mix. So I've got all the sound effects and all the musical sound effects going on while all he hears is the music. And it may be what he wants or maybe not what he wants, but you can set it up and customize it to his liking. And you can do this up to four different times with four different studios. So you can send out individualized mixes simultaneously to the main mix and you as the control room engineer, the person who's monitoring the control room channel, can monitor any one of those mixes. Or you can monitor the main mix and you can also use the listen bus to accentuate or uh, de-accentuate certain tracks while you're listening without affecting what they will hear on their individual studio channels. So that is the basics of how you would set up a very basic mix for a tracking performer in the studio. But you might be asking, is there an easier way to manipulate many studio sends all at once? And can we start from the main mix and tweak it from there to create a specialized mix for each performer? And the answers to those questions are, yes, you can. And as with many things in Cubase, you can do them in many different ways. So I'm going to cover one of those ways in the next video.